Hello everyone and welcome back or to my channel. My name is Erica and today I will be doing my makeup inventory for 2024. Happy New Year! <laughs> I probably should have let off with that. But yeah, it feels strange to be sitting in front of a camera again. I've been away for a while. There was like... <clears throat> I filmed some videos but I didn't edit them. But basically, I, <laughs> towards the end of the year, got sick and I was sick basically until very recently so yeah I got bronchitis I went through my makeup inventory earlier today and actually had someone come over to pick up some things that I was decluttering so she was coming to pick up that and I decided to give her some makeup and skincare as well because I was like I'm not realistically going to use this all within like before expiration so I might as well give it to someone else and these products are all new or barely used and by barely used I mean none of the skincare was open and the makeup was either swatched only or barely used but a lot of my makeup I took out of the packaging because makeup packaging is very bulky and I have a tendency to buy backups instead of buying products that I want to use right away and so hopefully I'll be fixing that in the upcoming year, not this year because I'm going on a no buy and I'll be mentioning that in pretty much every video this month so if you watch my other videos you will see it but let's get into the inventory I was very scared at first to do this because I thought that my products would go up a lot I did do a makeup rehab for 2023 and 2022 but in my makeup rehab series I allowed my collection to actually grow and this year I didn't really wear that much makeup because I was sick <laughs> and also it was really hot this year so I didn't feel like wearing it during the summer I'm actually really surprised with my numbers so I'm going to be comparing my numbers to September 2023 I don't know if my next update for this is going to be in March or April yeah let's start with eye primers I'm going to be putting pictures over my face. Starting with eye primers, I previously had three and now I currently have two eye primers. I don't know how to say this slower so that the pictures stay on longer. It's just eye primers. So basically I had a glitter glue eyeshadow primer that I decided to declutter because it was really old. Like it was a few years old so I decluttered it. Also I wasn't using it. Probably because I was uncomfortable that it was so old so I was like yeah whatever just get rid of it I always have two max or always have around two because you know one that's open and one that's back up I don't think it would be zero moving on to face primers I previously had four face primers but now I currently have one and so what happened was I actually threw away two of them because I had used them. One of them, which is the Glow Recipe AHA, or no, the Glow Recipe Strawberry like blurring drops, those smelled like wet socks. It was disgusting. And I thought that it had gone bad because no one else mentioned the smell being that bad. But by the time I realized that I probably got like a faulty product, it was past the return period. So I decided to just like, cut my losses and throw it away because. I did not enjoy putting that on my face and then the wet n wild primer that I had I felt like was absolutely useless it was just like putting slightly thick water on my face so I decided to declutter it as well because last year I went I decided that I'm just tired of mediocre everything um, actually it started with like mediocre people I don't need those people in my life and I also don't need mediocre products in my life but I did declutter the Benefit Professional Mini Primer to uh, my friend's sister she was the one who came to pick up stuff today and yeah it's because I've used it in the past and it wasn't my favorite I had been planning on saving it for when I go travel but honestly I was not gonna use it so I'm glad it has a home now Moving on to setting sprays, I previously had three. One of them was full size, the other two were minis or like travel size. And I currently have three. But 
I used up one of my setting sprays and the other one is the mini I'm saving for travel and then I got a sunscreen setting spray. I'm not planning on using the sunscreen setting spray. I can't pronounce the name, it's like French or something. It had the highest ratings on Sephora so that's why I decided to purchase it because I'm about to run out of my other like form of setting spray which is a powder. I'm almost done with it. Yeah, I decided to replace it with that because I don't think reapplying powder sunscreen on my face is ideal for me because the brush gets so disgusting if I put it on oily skin so like no thank you. So, oh, setting spray is much more sanitary but yeah I'm not gonna use it to set my face but it is a setting spray. I don't... if I run out of this product I definitely will repurchase it. It won't be considered like makeup in my opinion because for me I'm using it as skincare but we'll see if I even like it enough to get to that point. It was a little bit pricey. So yeah, that's why it's still three, but the products have changed. Moving on to setting powders, I previously had seven, and now I have five. I decluttered two of them. I decluttered my two Muji face powders because I was looking at it like, when am I gonna use this? Because they are not loose powders, they are like pressed powders, and loose powders are better for people with oily skin, and those like little circles, the swirls, I'm not sure how to use it. I don't know if it's like supposed to also sculpt your face if it's not just powder but like a setting powder so I decided to declutter those as well. Moving on to foundations, I previously had one, I currently have one. It is the exact same one, it's the Misha BB cream, the famous one. I would like to see this number go down to zero. I'm not the biggest fan of foundation, although I do like the BB cream, but only for a few hours. And then it gets really disgusting on me. Moving on to bronzer, I previously had five bronzers. I currently have five bronzers. These are the exact same five, so there's not much change there. Moving on to blush, this number dropped a lot, so starting, or I previously had 25 blushes and I realized that I was never going to get through 25 blushes in a reasonable amount of time. Maybe even using up two blushes a year, which is like impossible, I would still spend like 10 years trying to use up my blushes. So I decluttered, not some, but a lot of them. So now I have 15, which means I decluttered 10 of them. So I believe six of them were like singles and then the uh, one of them was in like a palette or four of them were in a palette I think the only blushes that I really reach for are the ones in my project pan so yeah the rest of them are pretty much new this is what I mean by I buy backups and not products to use right away so I'm hoping that this year I'm going to go down in some blushes because I have two I've been working on for two or three years now and if it's not gone out of my collection, I will, by the end of this year, I will be so surprised. But yeah, I'm hoping to go at least go down in two this year. But it took me so long and I was really like tunnel visioning on these two blushes. Moving on to highlighters, I previously had 13 highlighters, which is a lot. But I used to go through like multiple highlighters a year. But now I have 11 highlighters. So I decluttered, one of them was in the blush palette. And then the other one I decluttered because it was a silver highlighter and I don't really use silver highlighters. Also the highlighter was like a beaming from outer space highlight so it was just like the worst of both worlds. The packaging was cute but like the product was not something that I was going to reach for on most days. And recently I actually started using my hourglass highlighter again and I've fallen in love with it all over again. It is the best. I love Hourglass's highlighters. I don't know if I would ever buy another highlighter after I use up the rest of mine. Okay, moving on to eyeliners. I previously had nine and now I have eight. So I did use up one of my highlighters. It was a Too Faced Killer Liner in the shade Killer... Killer Gray? Oh, Killer Storm. There we go. It was a gray eyeliner and I'm... Not even sure if Too Faced is still making this anymore because these eyeliners constantly go on sale. But I really liked it. It 
didn't smudge. I would use it instead of like a black liner and it didn't really smudge when I put it on like the outer corners of my eyes but I don't you I don't tight line and I don't put any eyeliner in my waterline because I have very sensitive eyes but I would not repurchase it again. I think that it is not worth the money. Moving on to brows, I previously had eight brow products which includes one brow mascara but now I have seven. The photo only shows six because I can't find one of my I can't find one of my brow pencils and it is the one that I usually take with me when I travel because it's a twist up and I don't have to sharpen it. So I don't know where it went. But it is somewhere in the vicinity of this room. Moving on to mascara. I previously had four and now I have three. So I was going I always use these photos to keep track of where or when I opened my mascaras and I looked and I had had this mascara open for almost nine months so I was like okay it's time to declutter it now and open a new one so that's what I did. I wasn't that great about wearing mascara last year which makes me sad because the mascara I had open was one of my favorite ones so hopefully now I will be wearing mascara a lot more often. Moving on to I don't know I forgot about my lip product category so for the first time in a while my eyeshadows will be in like the middle of the video so for eyeshadow singles oh this is actually kind of boring <laughs> I previously had 14 and I still have 14 they are the exact same 14 I can't bring myself to declutter any of these even though I know that I should because I'm not going to wear all of these colors I think they just also serve as a reminder to me to not buy grungy eyeshadows, like grungy green eyeshadows, because I won't wear them. <laughs> they look so gross on me, but it's one of my favorite colors, so I need to find a way to either use it or declutter them because they've been in my collection for like a year. And I always make this mistake, it's the same with foundation, I forget how bad it looks on me and then I buy one. And then moving on to eyeshadow quads, I previously had three and now I currently have three. They are not the exact same three. I did declutter one of my eyeshadow quads. I say quads but none of these palettes or whatever it is have four eyeshadow pants. It's either three or five or six or two when I had it before like this category has never been accurate <laughs> but I call it quads because it just fits they're like smaller palettes yeah so I did get one another Kaja bento stack from my brother's girlfriend so I think I got the peach one I don't know what the name is but I'm really excited because I really like the Kaja bento stacks. They're perfect for taking with me on vacation because they're so small and I always get compliments when I wear it. So I'm not wearing it today so I guess you guys don't have to compliment me today. I'm not leaving that in. Moving on to eyeshadow palettes, I previously had 13. <laughs> I still have the same 13. Nothing has really changed. I think it's because for my makeup rehab, I only allowed myself to get like 10 new eyeshadows this year and unless it was a present and I only got eyeshadows as presents so that's why I didn't even bother looking or I did look towards the end of the year for more eyeshadow singles and palettes that were smaller but I couldn't find any that were that would like fit my criteria like either it was too many pans of eyeshadow for me to buy with my beauty bank even though I did want to look and try and get a new palette I just felt like nothing was fitting like all the criteria I had including having it having to be like unique shades and I have like almost everything that I want so what's the there's no point in buying another one Okay, here is where <laughs> I done fucked up. So, moving on to lip glosses. I previously had seven, and most of them were from Bare Minerals, which I love their formula. It's my favorite one right now because Nature Republic decided to discontinue my old favorite. So, 
I feel like I can't be super attached to a product because it's either gonna get discontinued or reformulated. I did get two new lip glosses during the Sephora VIB sale. So now I have nine lip glosses. Moving on to lipsticks, I previously had eight. And I also went up in this category. I now have 11 lipsticks. I decluttered one that I had literally never used for about like two years. And I opened it, looked at it, and realized that it would probably look funny on me because it was a lighter color than my lip color. And so I decluttered that one, but then I brought four new lipsticks in. The lipsticks with the pretty packaging, like the more like, I guess, Chinese designs on them. I actually made those while I was in China. And one of them is a red and the other one is supposed to be more of like a muted brown. That is good for every day. And then I bought two velvet tints from Romand. I think that's how you say it? It's like Rom and then the... that symbol? Is it called an ampersand? Whatever, it looks like someone's scooching their ass across the floor. And then the word and. So I'm just gonna guess it's Romand. But yeah, I decided to buy two of their velvet tints because i have been looking for a product like that for a while. They are basically what I thought liquid lipsticks would be like. Like they look matte but like they look soft and blurring. And the formula would be more comfortable. I'm wearing one of them right now. I think starting this year I'm going to start putting what I wear in the description box. And then lastly, moving on to lip liners. I previously had one and now I have zero. So this category is going to go away from now on until I get another lip liner, which I don't think I'm going to get. I really want to go through my lipsticks this year and also, like I said, I'm on a no buy. Hopefully I can bring my lipstick numbers down because I want to switch from the bullet formula to this velvet tint formula, at least for now. Maybe in the future I'll switch back, but I really like how this looks. And my totals, not including eyeshadows, from three months ago-ish, <laughs> were 98 products, and now they are 81. I was so surprised when I did this because I really thought my numbers would have gone up because all I was thinking about was all the lip products I had brought into my collection, but then I also forgot that I had used up... Uh... What did I use up this year? I feel like I used up like a lot of... Let's be real, I didn't use up that much stuff. I must have used up a good chunk of things throughout this year because I'm not allowed to buy that much stuff unless I have like credits in my beauty bank for my makeup rehab it. But yeah, I think the declutter definitely helped. I don't really have a goal. Decluttering all those blushes was like so relieving and now I don't have to worry about them expiring, having to use them, having to cycle through to get to them and all the blushes I have remaining. I think I can get through within a reasonable amount of time. I'm just really looking forward to seeing some of these numbers drop, some of these categories disappearing forever. I think I will be down about 20 products this year because I'm going to be on a no buy. I have a lot of products on their last legs and some products that I just want to get rid of out of certain categories completely, including uh, face primers because I prefer to wear sunscreens and foundation as well. That's everything for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in about three months for another update. Bye!